Harvest chapter 62. For the grace of God that brings salvation is without hypocrisy, O Israel, and is absolutely perfect, being without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, for it is found without fault, and there is no occasion for stumbling in it. For the faith of God which draws us to become his sons and daughters, who are made always to stand, O Israel, comes not by faith only, or by the hearing of the word through the spirit of grace only, or only by the speaking of the tongue, or some other idle thing, if it is by itself, as men of this house might say. But the faith of God which saves us is indeed also, and in power also, and is manifested through weakness as we surrender to the spirit of his call by reason of the hope of the love of his power that he has deposited in us, that we might have power through our belief in him to become the sons of God unto him, and daughters to the seed of his promise whose daughters are like unto Rachel that lost her children, and Sarah, the wife of Abraham, his sister that was barren, yet conceived through Abraham Isaac, and regained the loss of all her children by faith, through whom came all the seed of Abraham, who by the spirit of his call were made heirs, and are numerous, are as numerous now as all the stars that shine in the heaven, and innumerable, innumerable, innumerable as the sands of the sea, that are by the seashore, if one would try to count them. For it would be like trying to count all the blades of grass that are spread out across a very large plain, or looking for a needle in a haystack, whose innumerable seed are if they continue by faith in him, and are not amazed with any amazement, whose innumerable seed are they if they continue by faith in him, and are not amazed with any amazement in the manner of any of the least of the wicked as they suffer, and are e easily offended and vain as they turn. But the trials and tribulations which through the Spirit of our Father's word he called us to suffer for and persevere through, O Israel the brave, are not for the sake of him or for the safety of someone else, but are for our own special benefit and are for the safety of our own lives to bless us whose blessing of safety and promise in the eyes of heaven are priceless. And the heavenly scales are and in the heavenly scales are immeasurable, being much more precious than fine gold or costly array, that we might take off all those things that are of the world that weigh us down, and endure to run the race of our Father's faith that was mocked out from the very beginning of God's creation for us to run to the very end in him who is holy, to receive our crowns. Who speaks unto us from his word even now that we might run for him, O Israel, saying, Be holy, for I am holy, and perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. That you might be perfect in all your ways for me, my people, and holy and pure in all your dwellings, both when you come in and when you go out, that you might raise up your children in this manner for me also, to continue in them. For the Lord sent me out as a trumpet to blow upon Mount Zion, O Israel, that I might blow into the lungs of the weakness of all my fellows, and breathe back life into them who are weak and lame at the feet, who are not able to walk, and heal their collapsed in lungs also, through the healing power of the wind of the Spirit to fill them with air as they lay here dying all the day, that I might lift them out of the dust of their own deaths unto life, and pull them out of the blackness of their deep pits that they dug unnecessarily, who they wickedly fall into also at the likes of those whom they mistakenly trust and supposed to be their faithful brothers and friends in the Lord every day, yet wickedly are betrayed by them often in the manner of Joseph and the twelve patriarchs who were his brothers also, who were restored unto him after they had betrayed him and him to them who forgave them after many days of hard testing and painful labor that they had to, that they and him had to undergo. For in this manner also have I been sent, O Israel, and my father called me out of the darkness of my family's betrayal and evil persecution to save the remnant of, remnant of all his people who are my betrayers and murderers, who still dwell in the, that darkness because of the heavy load of sin that they carry on their backs which of the devil they were held in bondage to, through the fear of man which they love called mammon also, that they might serve the riches of it. 
For their sakes, therefore, was I called. And to the sin for my father was I wrought, that I might go out in the office of the holy messenger to preach, according to the covenant of the promised one of God, written about in the book of Malachi, as it was delivered unto me, that I should go out. That I might go out and preach unto the dead, and the lost, the gospel of the living, to raise them up, and turn every one of them who is dead from the death of their evil ways unto the truth of my father's sayings, and call them out of all their evil occult practices, and twisting of the holy scripture, who twist the words of the Lord God to support all their ungodly lifestyles which they love to live in daily as they live in them. For I come not to bring peace, says the Spirit of the Lord, but a sword and division. And the Father sent me not to give kisses and hugs, but reproofs of rebuke, that I might rebuke them who tempt the Spirit of the Lord through me, and bring down as a hammer the sword of division strong upon my Father's house, to cast out the hypocrites who sell tares, and drive out with the three-cord set of rips, whips the money changers, and all manner of the devil's evil men who sell do doves in the temple of my Father, and make fortunes out of the dis distribution of books which they market. And all the other things which come from the revelations of the Holy Spirit, as they say, which are forbidden of the Lord for even the, the greatest people of his house to market, that they should refrain. For God forbid that any of my father's house who has a seal of the Holy Spirit for safety and the anointing of his grace to understand all manner of heavenly mysteries and wisdom of revelations, which of a spirit he gives to all men freely is a gift through the repentance of their faith as they are willing. If they should turn their conversions into a business and showcase their gifts around town as a career whore and market their father's goods for money all over the place, like Rahab the harlot to be prostituted, of whom one actually of old tried to offer Peter the first money that he might buy the Holy Spirit for himself, and charge other men by the laying on of his hands upon them for the same also, that they should pay him for what is of God. To whom Peter the first said, Your money perish with you, O wicked man, and may your soul go down in flames forever, because you actually thought that you could purchase the gift of God with money. Such shall fall upon all the heads of everyone who is saved, and everyone who is not in my father's house of prayer who try to make a buck off of anything that comes from the Holy Spirit of God to sell it. 